Hello Creative Gems, welcome to Creativity. How is everyone today? I'm Sandy and today we are going to replicate two beautiful Z Gallery decor pieces using all dollar store materials. For our first inspiration piece, we will replicate the silver and gold ice bucket, which regularly retails for $99.95. On the Z Gallery website, it describes this ice bucket as crafted off stainless steel with a gleaming silver finish, golden beaded trim, and beautiful floral vine motif. To start, I'm going to take this ice bucket from the Dollar Tree. It comes with a mirror-like finish and only costs $1.50. We are going to apply this gold mesh ribbon trim to the rim of the ice bucket. This ribbon was also from the Dollar Store and comes with six rows. We will use a good pair of scissors and cut one row. To apply it to the rim of the ice bucket, I'm going to apply a very small dollop of glue to one end of the ribbon and then adhere it to the rim of the ice bucket. This will help anchor the ribbon while we adhere the rest of the ribbon using some clear tacky glue. And while we work on that, I would like to take a moment to thank all the returning viewers to my channel for tuning in to today's craft project. If you are visiting for the first time, I would like to extend a warm welcome. And if you enjoy glam home decor and DIY crafts on a budget, I would love it if you would support my channel by hitting the subscribe button so you can be notified of my future DIY craft videos. I wasn't able to find any flowers to decorate our ice bucket with, but I found this pack of laser cut wooden butterfly pieces from the Dollar Tree. It comes in a six pack with three beautiful butterfly designs. I think these butterfly pieces would be a good substitute to the flowers, so we will use some acrylic metallic gold paint to paint them. The paint is also from the Dollar Tree, but you can also find similar bottles at Walmart. To paint these pieces, it's best to use a very thin paintbrush with soft but pointy bristles. That will allow you to get into the nook and crannies of the butterfly pieces. And once you finish painting one side of the butterfly piece, let it dry for about 10 minutes and then flip it over because we'll want to paint the other side as well. For my ice bucket, I ended up painting five butterflies, but you can opt for more or fewer depending on your preference. While the paint dries on the butterfly pieces, we are going to make the vine. I found this rubber mold from Amazon with several beautiful decorative designs. I will leave a link below to my Amazon store if you would like to shop for one as well. I will select a few of these decorative designs and inject some clear hot glue inside the mold designs. It will take a couple of minutes for the hot glue to cool down, but once it settles and cools down, the hot glue will harden enough that you can then use your fingers to remove them easily from the mold. You'll need to connect each individual piece together to form the shape of a vine until you have approximately one foot of vine. The vine should look natural with some small curves, so you should make sure when connecting the pieces that you don't end up with one long strain vine piece. To connect the individual pieces, use some hot glue. Once the vine has cooled down, we'll need to use the same gold metallic paint from before to paint it. You'll want to paint both sides of the vine, allowing about 15 minutes of drying time for each side.
we will attach the vine to our ice bucket. You can play around with the positioning of the vine, but once you are satisfied, go in again with some hot glue on each end of the vine to adhere them to the ice bucket. Then go in and attach the butterfly pieces to the vine with some hot glue as well. It's up to you how you want to space out the butterfly pieces. And here is what our ice bucket looks like so far. You can see how similar it already looks like to our inspiration bucket from Z Gallery. But we're not done yet. We still need to build the base for the ice bucket. For the base, I found this square silver bowl also from the Dollar Tree. It also comes with a mirror-like finish, so it's a perfect match to our ice bucket. Simply apply some hot glue to the bottom of the bowl and then adhere it to the bottom center of the bucket. And a little tip for you is that if you discover that the base was not centered properly, you can wait for the hot glue to cool down and then gently remove the base from the bucket so you can reposition it. And here's the final look of our ice bucket. I'm amazed at how similar it looks from the Z Gallery version, yet it only cost a few dollars to make and it is a perfect decor piece that is also functional. The butterfly pieces on the vine adds a beautiful whimsical look to the ice bucket and the base we added gives the bucket a more regal look. Comment down below and let me know what you think of the butterflies. Did I do a good job in substituting the flowers that the Z Gallery version had? For our second inspiration piece, we are going to replicate this bowl on the cheap. On the Z Gallery website, this Grand Merci bowl regularly retails for $129. The website describes it as a stainless steel bowl featuring multiple polished knobs. To replicate the look of those polished knobs, we will be using several of these Christmas ornament balls I picked up over the holidays at the Dollar Tree. These ornament balls come with a mirror-like finish, just like the Z Gallery version. However, we will need to remove the ends from each of the balls. Start by removing the caps and then, using a good pair of scissors, snip off the tips so you are left with a smooth finish. Then we are going to use another one of these silver bowls we used earlier and start adhering the ornament balls to the outer surface of the bowl. You may want to play around with the positioning and spacing the balls before you adhere them with hot glue. For my bowl, I will start by adhering a row of three towards the top rim of the bowl. The next row will only contain two ornaments. Then repeat on each side of the bowl until the entire bowl is completed. And here's the final look of our Grand Merci Bowl replica. It's not quite the same as the round Z Gallery version, but for only a couple of dollars, I think it's a pretty good dupe. I might use it as a candy dish and it pairs perfectly with our ice bucket as well. Comment down below and let me know which piece you like the best. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and share with other creative gems. Also, hit the notification bell and check out these additional videos for more Z Gallery inspired home decor pieces I made.